after you assemble all the parts, create adaptive part, which is in this case called A block. For that, you need to go to create, give a name. In this case, they call it adaptive part. I'm going to call adaptive part. Your textbook calls it A block. Um, I'm just renaming that to adaptive part. OK. Expand base plate one. Expand origin. Select XY plane. Notice everything is great and you are in model creation mode and your ribbon change to typical part creation ribbon. Adaptive part one is created. Expand origin. Select XY. Right click. Create new sketch. Anywhere on the screen, use rectangle tool. Two points. Create sketch. Approximate size. With no dimension and no other constraint. Finish your sketch, extrude. Extrude height would be three units in this case, equal to base plate depth. And also you may select both directions. I have created also the space plate in both direction extrude. Right click on extrude one, make sure you select adaptive and it's checked. When you do that, uh, you will see two arrows, opposite directions with blue and red color. That means this part is going to be adaptive. That's important, you make sure that's checked. Upper right corner, there's a drop down arrow under return, select return back to assembly, modeling, and exit editing. Now, using the relations or constraint relations, you will make resize this block. For that, select constraint, select front face of the base plate, and front face of this block. Select flush, apply. Rotate to position where you can see the back portion. Select the, the face, the back face of base plate with the back face of this block. Also flush. Apply. Change your orientation to isometric mode. Select the top face and rotate where you can see the bottom face of the base block and use mate relation apply switch to the front view and you can see that everything is constrained to the side except we don't have the same distance the leg should be the height of the leg should be equal to this one to the block height. Rotate the position that where you can see the bottom of both parts, then select the face and to the face make him flush. The last constraint you need to add, you need to stretch this block to reach the center of this hole. To do that, you will select the face that you want to stretch to. In this case, we will select this plane, which I have made that plane visible. In case yours is not visible, you can either make that visible 
or you can select from the browser, select that same plane, which in this case would be XY plane. We're making that plane to be flush with the face. Make sure flush is selected, apply. Cancel constraint and save your work. At this time also, you may want to change the material. If you haven't changed already, make sure change the material. You can go back to edit this part by selecting adaptive part, right click, edit. Notice the material shows generic. Scroll down to the last portion and select wood bridge. Return back to assembly. Save your work. And the next step is to create detailed assembly drawn with part list and balloons. That concludes this portion of the assembly modeling where we used adaptive part approach and we resize this block to match the desired need without having any dimension to that block except the depth of course was equal to depth of the extrude height of the base plate save your work and exit or continue for your next project